hey you guys welcome back to the channel like this story is so touching like violence and violence in a relationship is never like the answer if your partner ever put hands on you the first time walk away and never try to like say oh i'm gonna fix this person or oh, i can heal this person let god do it because if he put if he or she put hands on you one time he or, she, he or she will keep doing it. But I'm not going to talk too much in this video. I'm going to just play this video. And we're going to come back. And do a little commentary on, you know, my opinion. So watch this video. And I will be back. For the Olympics. Now, Olympic athlete Rebecca Sheptegay is dead. She died from complications after being set on fire by a former boyfriend. The murder has sparked widespread emotion, particularly in her home country, Uganda. Bastien Renou reports. The first reactions to Rebecca Cheptegay's killing came from Uganda. The Minister for Education and Sport sent his condolences to the family and to Ugandans at large. Then the Uganda Athletics Federation said how deeply saddened it is by the death of its athlete and called for justice. And then later in the day, the family spoke to the media in Eldoret, the town where she died. Uh, of course, they shared their pain. They said how painful it is to lose a sister, a daughter. And and then they blamed the Kenyan police. They said that uh, she had been threatened by the man who killed her for a while. Listen to her mother. I have no strength. I just blamed the police in her home of Endebes. They were responsible for providing security for my child's home, but failed. I have nothing else to say. There is now an investigation ongoing. According to the police, 80% of her body was burnt after she was allegedly attacked by a former boyfriend. The police said that neighbors witnessed the attack. They said that they saw the man pouring a liquid on Cheptegay's body before burning her. This man is now in hospital. He was injured as well. 30% of his body was burnt. He will be arrested as soon as he... So I heard they said 30% of his body is burned and he won't get arrested after that. Yes, he deserved to get arrested. That he deserved to get locked up and um i just feel like he's evil like why would you burn her on fire like, why would you set her on fire i mean like whatever like i don't know he probably just jealous because she doing her big one she just went to olympus the olympus and she do, like come on now but this is a prime example of how us african we gotta like stop stop that negativities like we be thinking we so perfect like africans no shade african got the most toxic ass mentality ever like not well not all africans some african um but yes especially some african men like they just think they're so superior and that's not the case so african women it's time for you to stand up for yourself stop being afraid speak up um and african men too speak up too stand up because i heard it was people in the neighborhood who, who just didn't do anything they just stand there and let this girl get got abused and that's crazy like stand up for your sister stand up for your brother it might not be your family member but if you feel like somebody is doing something to somebody else speak up or stand up like but anyway that's why i always get in trouble because i'm always picking up and stand up for people child but anyway let me know down below um what you got what you guys think leave me a comment like this video share this video and most importantly subscribe to the channel i gotta go